Hi guys, so um, right now I was just practicing like I always do and um, I just thought about an idea of just filming it. You know, right now as some of you guys know that I'm just in the practice stage and um, i just been practicing every single day and this is something that I just did for right now. So I actually want to show you guys how I achieved this. Clear acrylic, nothing major. So my coarse bit. And just remove that shine off the nail. Now I did kind of um, prep these already. But this, I'm just going to do it again. So this is not like an in-depth like video. Um... This is just something with literally what I do like every day while I'm practicing. Um, I am no professional at all. Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic. I'm gonna take my little duster and just wipe off uh, the dust. I'm just measuring from side wall to side wall and then I'm gonna glue it. Um, one thing that I've learned is, um, is better it's better to go a little bigger than smaller because if it's too small, it will cause um, lifting. So I am just going to apply this now, the tip on, and I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds because obviously this is not a real um, hand. So, um, you know, it requires a little bit more uh, work. So I'm just gonna hold it for about 15 seconds shaping time my favorite shape is stiletto i love me a stiletto i've been rocking for uh, stiletto for like years for like legit a hot minute so um i love stiletto but you know not everybody do and that's fine i like coffin too but nah i'm more of a stiletto so i'm just uh cutting off the little sides but you guys know this practice hand is from hot tips beauty academy and as well as this um uh filer so just letting you guys know just in case if y'all want to go pick that up size i'm gonna go in and just shape So I just try to file like equally both ends just so one don't look, you know, weird and the other one, you know, I just want to make sure that it's nice and even. And again, um, shape is something that like I feel is extremely important, but um, so shape is definitely something that I focus on. Five wall to five wall. just to make sure that it looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna go on top of this right now. Just to smooth out this line. Normally I go in with my e-file and do that, which I will in a second, but um, you know, just to save time. And another thing that I'm doing is um, recording myself while I do this. Because I also want to work on my timing. But one thing that I could say, guys, is literally just have fun with it. Like, have fun. That's one thing that I could say. That would be my advice is to literally have fun from a person who's practicing, um and trying to perfect this whole um you know nail thing i literally just have fun that's what i recommend 
So this here is the coffin. Now I do like to shape and make sure everything is good, obviously before I do the acrylic, cause just for time purposes. So right now I'm gonna go in with the coarse bit again, and just to smooth out right here the smile line, just so we can have a nice smooth um, application. I find when I do that, I don't know, it just it just looks better. And I'm also going to go down the side and just um, perfect that uh, shape again. So yeah. We're going to have to do the shaping again because, um, you know, sometimes the acrylic could, uh, you know, putting the acrylic on will make it lose the shape. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't talk today. I think it's because I'm so tired. But um, now I'm going to go in with acrylic. And again, I'm using my um, Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. And I'm just going to... Dust it off a little. And I'm just gonna put some like monomer first on there. Just to prevent like any air bubbles. So now I'm gonna go in okay. I just like to start right there by that uh, smell line. Just tap and pull. Tap and pull. That's how I like to do it. And um, one thing that I'm learning as well is to um, practice keeping uh, the shape when I apply the acrylic just so just so it could prevent me from uh, spending so much time uh, fouling and shaping at the end. So now I'm just going to go in with my uh, second bead. Remember to tap and pull. And just a little disclaimer out there guys. Again, I'm no professional. I'm not licensed. I'm literally just somebody practicing. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it, you know, just for fun. This is what I do every day. So I was like, you know what, let me just film it so you guys can see my process. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with the third bead. And I am just going to, again, tap. Try to keep that shape. And I am also wiping off my brush after every use as well because it's when you have matte acrylic in your in your brush because sometimes it'd be so hard to come out. back in making sure everything is cool I like to tilt the finger a little downward so the acrylic could just flow Guys, I've been watching so many um, so many uh, nail tutorials. Oh my God. Like I swear, YouTube, I don't know what I'll do without YouTube. Like I don't. YouTube has seriously been so helpful. Like And 
And I'm not gonna lie, it's times when I get so annoyed. I'm going with another bead a little closer to the cuticle area. It's times when I get so freaking annoyed and sometimes literally I just, I just take a break. When I get annoyed about like, if, um, you know, if the application is just not coming out right or if I'm trying to do a certain design and it's just like blowing my mind, it's okay to take a little break. But one thing we don't do is give up. <laughs> right? Right, y'all? We don't give up. Mm -mm. Me, I love a challenge. I don't like anything easy. I love a challenge. There's nothing wrong with a challenge. And you guys see how I'm just like trying to keep that shape. gonna brush a little upwards then I'm just gonna pat and start dragging that down So what I like to do from at, at this point is literally just look at all angles, all angles of the nail, just to see like if I need a little bit more acrylic. And I see right here. Just a little bit more right here by the tip. Okay, and remember, guys, this brown stuff that y'all see right here is, um, is uh, you know the fake nail it's supposed to act as um, you know a natural nail? So I'm just gonna clean off the cuticle area. Okay guys, so remember just I analyze just to see if everything's looking good. Then I think it is okay. So yep, I think this is good enough. So right now I'm just gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna go in with my file. And if you hear that, that means that it is dry. So that's another little cool tip that I learned. So I'm just going to bring that shape back.
with my horse drill. Okay. Just remove any lumps or bumps. And this buffer here is from Model 1s. So this side here is just a little bit more coarse and this side is, um, you know, way more smoother. So I'm just gonna go in with the coarse side, buff everything out just so everything could be nice and smooth. I just like to fill it and then I'm gonna go with the smooth side and just Move everything out. My little duster. And yeah, this is it guys. Um my nail application. If you want to see more videos like this, I would love I would love to um you know, just bring you along with my journey. Like, I'm actually really excited about this. I've been practicing for a few months now. I'm a newbie to this, but I've learned so much in such a short amount of time. But I'm so excited and this is something that I, I'm taking serious. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and let me know if you like videos like this and if you want me to do more videos. So thank you so much for watching, bye.